There's a real risk here because, you know, a lot of people are taking away the message that the crimes for which Boshi Lai are charged are really baked into the system. In other words, they're the result of the Communist Party's unaccountable politics. And that's the other risk for the party, that people start to say, this is not just Boshi Lai, he's just a scapegoat. There are people in Beijing who've been making much more money off of their offices than Bo ever did. And so I think that's really going to be the problem for the party going forward. Forward. And that's what Chinese people on Weibo, the Twitter-like service, and, and other places are really talking about right now. This is absolutely the conversation that the Communist Party does not want the Chinese people to have. He's going to be incarcerated for a long time. I, I think the question of the length of the sentence probably has not yet been determined. There are rumors that people say, well, it's going to be 15 years. But, you know, the prosecutors have been doing an awfully bad job. And Bo Lai has been very active in his defense. And that very well may mean that people in Beijing decide that the sentence he gets is going to be a lot less. The other problem here is that there was supposed to be an agreement between Bo and the Communist Party as to what was going to go on in this trial. I think that script has now really been superseded. And so right now, anything could happen to Ball. But clearly, he's going to be put in jail for quite some time.